Welcome. This question says, what is the specific heat capacity of solid gold if it takes 3096 joules of energy to raise the temperature of a 4 kilogram block by 6 degrees C? This is a, a, a definition basically. We have a, a lump of gold. Its uh, mass is equal to 4 kilograms. Uh, we're changing its temperature. It's delta T is equal to 6 degrees C. Um, and we'd like to know C, its specific heat. And by definition, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna heat it up. Here's my little Bunsen burner. And it's heating it up and I'm monitoring its temperature. Um, by definition, I can say the specific heat is the amount of heat required um, divided by the mass of the sample divided by the temperature change that the sample experiences. What we say is it's the amount of heat required to raise unit mass by one degree. And the units can be well, joules per kilogram and often this is degree C. Because a degree centigrade is the same size as a degree Kelvin we have to get the same value if we say joules per kilogram per degree Kelvin um, and so on. Sometimes you'll see joules per gram degree C. So you've got to be a little bit careful about units, but the standard units that we use will be joules per kilogram per degree C. So really, this is just you know, very simple. We just turn around and say, well, you know, we were told that our Q equaled the amount of heat energy that we put in was 396 joules. So it's 3,096 joules. And the mass of our sample was 4. And the temperature change in this case was 6. So this is 3096 over 24. So C would equal, if I look at this, 3096 divided by 24. And that would equal 129. 129 joules per kilogram degree C and that's actually a, a, a real answer that's a not made up numbers that's actually the, the true value uh, which is a relatively small value it, it does not take much energy relatively speaking to change the temperature of uh, 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 say a one kilogram mass of gold by one degree it's not much, not much energy at all when you think about it. Um, I can mess with this. <laughs> um, I don't have to give you the uh, amount of heat in joules. I could give you it in, in some other units. I don't have to give you the mass in kilograms. I could give you it in grams or, you know, megagrams. I don't have to give you... The temperature difference. I could give you a beginning temperature and an ending temperature. I could give you extraneous information that does not matter at all. Um, but in principle it's a definition. Specific heat is equal to the uh, uh, heat per kilogram per degree C, or the joules per kilogram per degree C. Um, I think of specific heat capacity as being like density it's 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 like it's 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 a it's a it's a figure relating to a material and um so density the relationship between density and mass is the same relationship similar relationship as between the uh, specific heat capacity and the heat capacity. Uh, this is kilograms per meter cubed and this is kilograms. So 
this is a, a, a measure, a, a property of a material, where this is a property of a sample of the material. And the specific heat capacity is in joules per kilogram degree C, whereas the heat capacity is in joules per degree C. Because it doesn't matter what the uh, um, what the mass is, it's the sample. So there we have it.